Hey guys, it's your boy Caesar here, and welcome back to Auto Tech TV, where we bring you technology clear and simple. Today I invite you to come with me to a Chinese factory where they build BMW engines. I'm going to enjoy this one as much as you. This factory is on the super cutting edge of sophistication in this rapidly, rapidly changing world of ours. But I'm not just going to go through how they build an engine, more like show you the very high degree of technology that is being applied today to produce a motor, of the training that is necessary to be able to quote unquote invent these engines. Starting with the simplest thing, that is when the aluminum goes to the furnace, which then is used to produce a lot of components, mainly the block and cylinder head, the basic elements of the engine. Why aluminum? Because aluminum, well, aluminum alloy in this case, not pure aluminum, is easy to machine, has excellent thermal conduction, interesting mechanical resistance, and can achieve conditions of rigidity and structures that are more than enough for a conventional engine. In this case, of course, the cylinders will be jacketed cylinders. There are no proper aluminum cylinders. Another interesting thing we see here are the molds. These molds actually make up what will later be left empty in the engine. These molds are made of a special sand used for casting and are what are going to be in the places that cannot be occupied by the aluminum. When it is injected with the aluminum and hardens, then the sand is eliminated and you are left with the form that the part has to have. Then it is machined to achieve the final result. That's the blocks being machined and being assembled progressively. Another detail you will see in this fabrication is the quasi absence of human beings. There is a heavy robotic presence of machines that come and go in the midst of one or two humans. Here we see a strange machine, a robot that seems to be twirling apart. What it's really doing is checking the part through photography to see that all of the holes and cavities that were occupied by the foundry sand are really all empty. It runs it through a series of x-rays to make sure internally everything looks how it should. That the release of the sand and the cleaning of the block or head was successful and the engine is ready to move along the line to be machined. What we're looking at now that you see on screen are three cylinder engines and we are looking at one of the many, many visual checkpoints there to make sure everything is being properly done. All of these processes have a record of variables they fill and fill and fill databanks in case of any problems that might come later once the vehicle is sold and being operated and detect if necessary to identify if that is an internal or external process and if it was due to some manufacturing error. That's why they have such a painstaking and tedious and exhaustive quality control process. Firstly, of course, to keep their level of quality up. And secondly, in case there is an error, they know exactly where that fault was. Here the engines are ready or almost ready to begin to be assembled, so they are getting ready to insert the pistons. This process has a certain procedure that also entails many review points. The cylinders are inserted, then the pistons with their corresponding rods. The engine goes into a process where they again check that everything is correctly installed and that the torque that is applied to the engine for it to rotate is what's expected. They do this so they can see that everything is functioning smoothly and there are no loose pieces or some other fault. And they measure that in torque. Here we see them installing the head with all of its studs and bolts. There we see the head gasket being fitted with the head being installed on top. We now have an engine that is starting to look like an engine that is complete with its cylinders and head taking the shape of a finished motor. Here's the thing, look closely everyone. Look at the floor. This is a surgery room, not an engine factory. Manufacturing plants have evolved in that aspect tremendously in cleanliness and efficiency, assembly which also adds to the durability and reliability of the engine. 
This is the first time we show a manufacturing process on this channel and I'm happy to bring it to you guys in this way. This is such a technical and clean evolved factory that I find it amazing. And that form of construction bleeds into the rest of the vehicle. The technology, the complexity that each engine has and the extreme attention to quality in the assembly process. Subscribe to our channel, Autotech TV. Technology, clear and simple.